this is how Samsung sent me my Fold 3. This is clearly a phone that has been opened and used. The plastic around it is poorly reapplied and bubbly. Underneath, there are fingerprints all over the phone. So it's not even that it was a used phone. It was a used phone that was poorly like prepared to be resold. At first I wasn't gonna make a video about this, but the more I thought about it, the more I decided that I kinda had to. I can't be the only one who received a phone that looks like this, but unlike others in the who might run into this problem, I uh, run my mouth on the internet quite often and sometimes people listen, so maybe Samsung will listen to me this time. When you buy a new phone, part of it is that new car smell experience that you get when you open that box for the first time. I should have known something was up when I saw that the seal was broken on the box, but it wasn't until I lifted the box lid that I knew something was wrong and then my heart kind of sank. Uh, you know, even uh, even I've, I've opened so many phones over the years, but even so, I was just totally bummed out. It's like opening a pizza box and finding that the delivery guy smashed all the, like turned your pizza upside down and all the cheese and toppings are, are on the lid of the box and everything is ruined. And yeah, 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 yeah. You can scrape the cheese off and try and put it all back together and you can eat it, but it won't be as good as that fresh, unmolested pizza uh, that you hope hoped for, that you were craving, that your mouth was watering over. There will always be that cardboard aftertaste. I think I know what happened here. Uh, Samsung has offered a pretty good uh, return program, 21 days, etc., etc., since the Fold 3 launched. So it's clearly a device that was purchased and then returned and then just turned back around and reshipped to the next customer that happened to be me. And in this age where we're all a little bit more conscious of germs and social distancing, and I mean, for those of you who are saying, send it back, I hear you. I hear you and I was really tempted to do just that. But Samsung had already messed up my order once when I pre-ordered the day that pre-orders opened. Uh, I was supposed to get the phone the day that everybody else got it, and then a couple of days before that, I got a message that my order was canceled and there was something between Verizon and Samsung that... I, so I just reordered an unlocked version so I didn't have to deal with that, but still, I was two weeks behind everybody else and I didn't want to have to wait potentially another two weeks or maybe even more to get the device again. Other than being disgusting when I took it out of the box, the phone was fine. I've used it with no problems whatsoever that aren't inherent in the design. I mean, if you want to know what I mean by that, I've got my full review coming later on this week, so make sure you subscribe and all that kind of stuff so you can find out what I'm talking about. For those of you who are saying, stop being a wimp and a whiner and a complainer and a blah, 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 and get over it, two points. One, I do this for a living. I open up phones and I present them to people. Uh, filming the unboxing experience for me is something that I need to get right and I need to be like what it's supposed to be because it becomes content for what I do. I mean, I might not do unboxings on YouTube every time I get a new device, but I still use that unboxing footage in review videos or I use it on other social media platforms. So I need the unboxing experience to be right. And number two, Samsung, owes me and owes you a good experience. I took a risk, a chance on their still not quite mainstream device here and paid a bunch of money to do it. And yes, I know oh, there's like trade-in programs and all that kind of stuff, but we could talk about how trading in a phone that already costs you money and has a certain value is already still money that, anyway, you're still paying for the phone. I paid for a premium experience from start to finish and I really want to get that experience when I open up the phone. That's part of the joy. It's like Christmas. You don't want to go down to the Christmas tree or whatever tree you might have and open up a box that, you know, is a used toy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you don't want that. When it's something special, you want to have that special experience. If Samsung is sending out used phones, open box phones, whatever you want to call them, and they're not refurbishing them so that the experience of opening the box is still as brand new and exciting as it was for the first person to open a box, then they need to do something different. What would you do if you opened your brand new phone up and found this turd bomb 
in the box? Would you pack it up, send it right back and wait again? Or would you wipe it off and make do? I decided to make do because I didn't want to wait anymore. I wanted to get coverage of this phone out to you guys as soon as I possibly could. But there's still a little twinge of anger and frustration when I think about how the phone came to me. Uh, I feel as though something has been stolen from me. Samsung, I ask you, please, do better. You owe it to your loyal customers who buy your expensive stuff and support your forward thinking ways, etc., etc., to provide a great experience from moment one when they open the box. And anything less is doing your customers a disservice. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. We'll have a boisterous discussion. Once again, thank you so much for being here. My name is Jason, sometimes known as the JTL. This is Painfully Honest Tech. Tech so honest it hurts. Until the next time, I'm out.